but he's hunkering down good. You know what? We do have our tear gas just for this very reason. Let's see if we can toss one right over that rock there. That probably just flew off into the wilderness. Man, it's going to be one of these. We're going to have about a six mile hike back to the vehicle, aren't we? Oh, nice. He tackled him. Good job there, dude. Right, dude, good job over there. He just straight up tackled him. That was nice. We've already lost him. I know we could probably just keep smashing down this way, but yeah, I barely touched the, the steering wheel there. And wow, let's see if we can set a record. Hello everybody, Matthew Street back with some more LSPDFR. Hopefully you've all had a wonderful weekend so far. Got uh, this video coming out today. We're going to be rolling with the uh, vintage Blaine County Sheriff's Office uniform. Kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Got the old cowboy hat and everything. So uh, we also got us some new vehicles here. I'm um, kind of normalizing and finding out which ones I want to use whenever we're not highlighting a specific city. Uh, but speaking of, if you have any requests, leave them in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I would be happy to do those. So pretty good looking pl uh, pack here the uh, credits are in the description like normal so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, jump out there see what we can find turn ourselves on for calls there we go uh, I think whenever we start in Sandy it's gonna be our goal like normal <laughs> let's see if we can make it to Harmony so I'm gonna start working my way towards that direction and when we get a call I will pull you in see you here in a minute Okay, well, we saw that guy just whipping it down through here. I don't even have my radar on, but okay, I got him 65. Uh, he is in an off-road vehicle. He's not on the road, so that's okay, but uh, man, you got to slow it down. I just saw him up to 64, 65, something like that, and again, speed limit's 35 through, and now he's taking an on-road. Yeah, man, I'm coming for you. You got to know it's coming. Yep, well, it's happening. Come on, pull over. <laughs> man, again... And never make it to Harmony, can we? Uh, that guy was just smashing it. And what's he doing? Yeah, he came to a stop, all right, didn't he? Wow, okay. Well, that's quite interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and run that plate real quick, if there is one. So, uh, yeah, dispatch, I need a plate check, please. It's going to be a 86 Whiskey Echo Echo 397 on a Dune. Let's see what that comes please. back. Mr. John please Robertson with one prior Edward, citation. Edward, three, no flags, nine, so that's okay. Seven, no ten ninety nine. I was wondering if we need a backup, but I think we're okay. Uh, so even though he uh, came to an interesting stop, it is a good location for us. So uh, let's go ahead and approach see what this is all about. It is occupied times one. Hi. Hello, sir. Deputy Street with the uh, say, or excuse me, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I uh, pulled you over because you were just whipping it back there. So uh, what's all going on with that, man? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get your uh, registration. Actually, let's just go to question. Have, have you been drink drinking or doing any drugs? We do see some hits for narcotics there. So, been sober for six months. Well, that was on the alcohol. You've been sober on, sober on drugs, too? Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, where, where are you headed, man? You want to go home? Well, I'm, I'm sure you do, but, uh, you know, you were driving a little bit recklessly back there. I, I know this thing's made for the off-road, but that's pretty crazy. You're a student driver, huh? Is that what we're going to go with? I just don't know that you're being so honest with me, sir. Let's uh, go ahead and get your driver's license, registration, and idea. proof of insurance, please, sir. Okay, I'll be right back with you, Mr. Robertson. Just hang tight for me. Okay, so that is the guy. Date of birth, 1977, but apparently he is a student driver. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull up his info real quick. I do like punching the air first. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Vehicle record is the Dune. That is him. Everything is valid, at least. Uh, 42. So, uh, everything is good. Checking out clean there. If anything, I was probably just going to tell him to uh, slow it down. He was at least off-road, but then he dip to come over here and uh, this is not off-road now he's got to get it home somehow so we'll just assume he was getting home I may not hit him too hard with that but we did smell narcotics so let's go ahead and approach uh, that topic real quick so all right sir uh, everything's coming back clean however uh, it smells like I could uh, smell some drugs maybe in there would you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me we can get that figured out I appreciate it sir okay uh, we're gonna actually walk over behind my cruiser so if you would just uh, follow me over here. Thank you, sir. His palms are sweaty. I wonder if his knees neat. Knee, knee, his knees are weak. <laughs> Come on, dude. You making it over here? You good? You good? Man, he sure does have a, a confident gait there, doesn't he? Okay. All right, sir. Uh, we just want to check some things out. Uh, do you want to go ahead and get some backup in here because we are doing this? 
uh, of course, me, where I'm about to do all this uh, sobriety test. Probably not the best spot, because I'm sure he's going to try to pull up right here where we are. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, sir, I want to move you. I'm just going to assist you get over right exactly where we want to be. I don't want to be out in the middle of the road. Right about here looks fine for me. Okay, very good, sir. I appreciate it. So, if you would, uh, just go ahead and look at the uh, tip of this pin and... As I move it back and forth, if you would follow it with your eyes only, not your head, okay? Just your eyes. You got that? All right, let's begin. Okay, well, I guess he saw something cool over there. Now something cool over here, because he sure did move everything, didn't he? Appreciate you showing up, Deputy. We're just going through a couple sobriety tests here. I want you to go ahead and just walk and turn the direction I'm facing. Walk about five steps that way and about five back. I have counted that. It looks like they do five, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, give or take. He's hammered. So, or at least a uh, high something. He's got something going on. Well, now that he's done that. All right, sir. Got some uh, bad news for you. Uh, you did not do so hot. Sir, if you would go ahead and put him in cuffs. Boys in the pen are going to love you. Nah, uh, you don't know that. <laughs> Plus, he's just getting a DUI. It's not like he's going to go to prison for eight months or anything. But then again, how the court systems work in uh, Blaine County, you never know. All right. Thank you, officer. If you would, uh, while you're here, go ahead and pat him down. Let's make sure he's uh, good to go. It doesn't have anything illegal on him. And I'm going to go ahead and search the vehicle while we're here as well. We'll see what we get back, if there's going to be any other charges thrown on here other than just a DUI. So he's got several pills in, uh, in an unmarked bottle. That could be a problem. He's also got fentanyl, a bong with white powder residue, and a baggie of brown powder. My goodness. Okay, well, I've got some drug reagent testing to do, so uh, let me get that started. Uh, let's just do the baggie of brown powder. So let's go ahead and uh, store some evidence. There we go. I'm just going to get the uh, first piece of evidence entered, and then I will uh, do the rest of the work. Baggie of brown powder. All right, cool. So I've got that entered. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it, and I'll bring you back here in a second. Okay, I'm bringing you back. We're going to go ahead and do our reagent here. So we have the bottle of unmarked pills as well as the baggie of brown powder. Uh, we'll just go ahead and start with that first one. I would guess it's heroin. I don't know. I don't know what those drugs look like, to be honest with you. I don't do them. So let's see what we get. And it was positive for heroin, so that was a good guess. The bottle of unmarked pills. Um, trying to think what we would even do for that. We'll just try the first one again. Why not? We'll see. If it's not it, then I'll find it, and we'll bring you back here. It may end up being negative for everything. So, yep, let me find it, and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, there it was. Positive for PCP. So this dude had heroin. He had uh, fentanyl and PCP, and he also had a bong. So uh, we've got some serious drug paraphernalia going on here, don't we, on top of the uh, other drugs. So let's just go ahead and just get him uh, a citation for the speeding. I am going to give him that. Uh, he was doing, I uh, clocked him, I think at 64 was the highest I saw in a 34, excuse me, 35. So he was 29 over, so we're going to go ahead and get him to the full extent on that one. So submit that citation. Now comes the fun stuff. All right, so traffic. Driving under the influence. Check. Drugs possession. All right, let's see here. Drug paraphernalia. Check. Fentanyl. Check. Heroin. Check. PCP. Check. All right, so that's quite interesting. So we got him loaded up with all those charges. So we're going to go ahead and uh, ask our buddy here to get him off scene down to the station. So, uh, yes, sir, if you would not mind, uh, please go ahead and transport Mr. Roberts. Or was it Robertson? I don't remember. If you would just get him out of here, please, sir. He's also got a citation. I can try to give that to him. I don't know if we'll get it before uh, he's out of here. Probably not, but that's okay. 
they'll be happy to give that to him at the station, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and tow this out, and then I'm going to go ahead and get back out there and uh, try to work my way towards Harmony again. We'll see if we find any other fool on the road traffic-wise, or if we get a call. See you here in a second. Hey, watch your car, dude. It's dirty. Uh, why do I have a green knot right here? Oh, that guy's hammered. Okay. Maybe not a problem. We just want to see where he's going. Uh, uh, he's just going to walk into a brick wall, I'm afraid. Uh, go ahead and stop for me, man. How are you, sir? Um, can you uh, do me a question? Can you tell me where you're coming from and maybe where you're going to head to? I have the right not to answer. That is true. You do, but uh, where you head to? Anywhere you want. Okay, that's true. Well, have you been drinking? Sober for six months. I'm afraid uh, you may be related to a guy I just interacted with. Any drugs? Let me guess. Nope. Yep, exactly. Okay. Do you have anything illegal I need to worry about? No, sir. I'm harmless. Okay. Well, uh, if you would go ahead and just, uh, do you mind giving me your ID, please, sir? Show me some ID. Let's see what he I hands over. It. Jimmy Jim Bob. Okay, that's my new favorite name for a pet ever. We've got Jimmy Jim Bob in the house. Nice. That's just going to be the title of this episode. Jimmy Jim Bob. Y'all can figure out the rest. Okay, well, Mr. Jim Bob, I do want to go ahead and uh, have you just follow me over here. I want to do a couple tests. I want to make sure you're okay. So if you would follow me. All right. Awesome. I appreciate it. You did pretty good on that. Okay. I just want to go ahead and check and see if uh, you truly have not been drinking at all. All right, so can you uh, go ahead and look at the tip of my pen here? Follow it from left to right with your eyes only as I move it. All right. Probably doesn't help you. I'm not using a pen right now, is it? Okay. You passed it somehow. All right. Well, if you would, we're going to do a little walk and turn test for me, okay? Right in the direction I'm facing. Just walk about five steps out away from me and five steps back. So the pen test obviously failed somehow. That didn't come out. And now he's just freaking sober as all can be, huh? Okay. Well, I kind of want to search him just to say I uh, maybe find something illegal and I get to arrest Jimmy Jim Bob. But you know what? I, I don't know what your story is, where you're coming from, what's going on, but uh, I'm a fan. So, all right, search. Do me a favor. Be careful. And uh, I'm in a good mood. I guess you, you know, know how to sober up. Good job, Let's Mr. Jim Bob. In. Okay. <laughs> That was about as interesting as a call as I've seen. It wasn't even a call. Just stumbled across this little green dot walking by, and Mr. Jimmy Jim Bob decided to uh, look absolutely hammered out of his gourd and then sobered up in about three nanoseconds. So I'm going to stop in the 24-7, get me my favorite, some strawberry rails, and then uh, we'll get some calls going as we work our way towards Harmony. Well, excuse me, we will see you here in a second. All right, thanks, man. If you see Jimmy Jim Bob around, tell him I said hi. Have a good one, bud. Alright, gonna try to work down to Harmony. I figure we might end up with another call, uh, or a call. Haven't had one yet, have we? I did see another person in the same exact situation as Jimmy Jim Bob. Just a green dot on the map, walking away, absolutely hammered. Not gonna show it to you, because it was basically the same thing. It was just uh, smashed, yet I uh, did the horizontal gaze. She passed it just fine, even though she was looking at my feet all stooped over. And she uh, she did fine on the walk and turn and walked away sober. So something's going on, but hey, makes it interesting. That's for sure. So let's see here. A stolen sailboat. We're right here, so let's do it. Okay. Everybody watch out. We got a pursuit on our hands. Watch out, dog. Dude chasing him. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if he really has anywhere to go. So it's maybe stolen, but he sure isn't freaking out like it's stolen. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't run. Just, come on. Down on your knees. There you go. I do want to go and get me some backup coming out here. Assistance needed in the Alamo Sea. Yep, it's coming. Get off your radio, man. All right, good. Let's go ahead and arrest the pet. We're going to see if it's stolen. It's been reported it's stolen, but he wasn't running, so that's good. Uh, but he was going to get out and run, so that tells me something is not right here, so... We're going to grab him, get him off to the side. All right, we got our backup on scene. I would stop traffic, and I probably should, but it's just not too bad right now. So, all right, sir, if you would do me a favor, one of you. All right, there you go. Just uh, pat him down for me real quick. That way we can obtain his identification. I'm also going to grab the uh, vehicle plate information off of this. 
So we got that plate number. His name is a Hampus uh, Farnstrom. I'm going to say I did a pretty darn good job on that one. He's got a burnt meth pipe and a small bottle containing a clear liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and get that bottle of uh, clear liquid entered into evidence before I forget it. So a small bottle with yeah. clear liquid. Pop on up. Come on. Let's do it. Let's get it. All right. There we go. A uh, small bottle of uh, it was clear liquid. Correct. Yes, it was. All right. Hey, calm down back there. I do need to go ahead and stop traffic because there are going to be morons here. So just just stop. Don't move. Don't move. Thank you. Okay. Now I want to go ahead and oh, just stop it. That's the only thing I hate about stopping traffic. Peds don't like it. So vehicle record. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this. It's a Phantom. Uh, Spinnaker purple is the color. Okay, so it's owned by a Esco John. It does not list as stolen right now, but again, that just may have not made it into the uh, system. So Mr. Hampus here. Everything is valid. He's got nothing, um, but this was reported as stolen, so this is going to be pretty uh, straight and simple. We're going to get him arrested for... Uh, the uh, the drugs he had on him. So I'm going to go ahead and do a drug reagent test, get this towed out of here, and we'll bring you back here in a second. We've got some charges. We'll see you in just a second. Con scum. Shit. All right, there you see it came back as positive for morphine. So I didn't want to throw that in there real quick. So I'm going to start doing the clean uh, the cleanup of the scene, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, welcome back. So we got Mr. Uh, Hampus here. I'm not going to try the last name anymore. <laughs> Uh, with uh, possession of drug paraphernalia. Uh, there isn't one specifically to morphine, so I just went with possession of controlled substance and also the grand theft. So, uh, cool. That's been done. We've got uh, that legitimately happened. That's always fun. <laughs> got to get out of here somewhere there. Somehow, though, don't we? So let's go ahead and get him transported on out of here. I'm sure our buddies will be happy to do that for us. Cool. Uh, and, uh, again, we're going to continue to work our way towards Harmony. See you here in a minute. All units, we have a hit and run on uh, Route 68. Okay, you heard that. We did make it to Harmony first off, so uh, pat on the back for us. All right, watch out, everybody. We're coming through. Thank you for cooperating. Nice of you. Got a hit and run right down here. It looks like out in front of the uh, dollar pills. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, yep, they are on top of one another. Okay, now they're gone. Uh, speak with the victim. How about we try to get this dude first? Yeah, pull over. Pull over. Right there. I don't want to have to get you in a pursuit. Okay, if I get out of the car, they're just going <laughs> to probably cancel the stop. Well, they just hang on right there. Okay, I want to go ahead and see what's going on with the uh, victim, apparently. See if that is him, the one that uh, just drove over his car. Hey, sir, Deputy Street with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What's going on? What happened, man? Okay, as so we're going to go into dizzy mode. What happened? You okay? See what you got. What you got? What you got? Someone slammed in my car when I got out the uh, whatever. Okay. Okay. Did you see any details? Car type, color, where they went. Can't remember. I did tell a 911 lady their license number though. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. It's been uh, added and that was them. Oh God. Okay. They may have just hit him too. We need to get a serious backup in here uh, for pursuit. I'm going to get a few units because I have no clue where they just took off to. All right, you just hang out here, sir. We'll do what we can. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get out on the road. We got plenty of uh, backup in here, didn't we? All right, watch out. Did they crash? Yep, they sure did. Okay. Yeah, out the car. Just give up, lady. Both of you. Oh, no, they're running. Okay. Up, oh, hands up, hands up. All right, we got her stopped. Looks like they got her stopped. Let's just make sure. Watch crossfire, everybody. Stop. 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 I thought that dude was raising his hands to him. Like, you're not part of this. Okay, first off, uh, traffic needs to be shut down for sure before this gets just nuts. All right, I got you. Let's go ahead and arrest her. Are you doing it? Is that what's going on? Yeah, y'all take care of her. I need to get this other lady. Stop revving the engine. You're not going to go anywhere. I love how they just abandon one of them. Just leave everybody else there. That's cool, but... Leave her all alone. So let's go ahead and get her in cuffs real quick. I'm going to get my car shut up and moved over to the side. And we'll be back with you here in just a moment. I'm backing you up. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I'm showing you that real quick. This was the driver, and uh, we're getting an alcohol hit on her, too. Didn't get anything on the other person, the passenger, but we did get alcohol on this one. So, you know what, let's just go ahead and uh, just breathalyze her real quick. Just see how hey, that's going. 
Okay, I appreciate you, sir. You just want to get right in the middle of this? Okay, that's neat. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, point one seven one. My crazy. God, lad. you're crazy. Get out of my way. But yeah, my goodness, woman. How are you standing? Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get her patted down, sir, if you would do that for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this woman patted down. And then uh, we'll bring you back in a moment. We've got some charges. All right, I'm bringing you in uh, with another drug reagent test because this woman right over here to my left in the pink, she had uh, that. So uh, let's let me guess, probably morphine, huh? That's uh, I've never seen so much morphine in my life, and all of a sudden today in a previous episode uh, not too long ago we got a lot. Okay, well it actually wasn't that, so that's good. Maybe it'll just come back as water or something. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these tests. If it hits positive, I'll bring you in so you can see it. Positive or fentanyl? There you go. All right, neat. So her name was Ava something, but she's uh, she's got fentanyl on her. Uh, other lady didn't have anything. Um, do need to check the uh, vehicle real quick. I really wish that Jeep would shut up. All right, so let's go ahead and search this, see if they had anything in it. So uh, there we go. We're also going to get the plate number, see if it comes back as stolen or not. I believe it is probably there, so uh, nothing of interest there. So that's a good thing. So uh, get that plate number. Let me uh, start writing up some charges. See if that does come back stolen first before I catch y'all out of here. Uh, Buffalo, nope, it's good. So and that was the driver, the uh, Miss Anna Sousa. That's her. Oh, it was suspended. So she's got a DUI, suspended license. All right, I'll get all this written up. We'll bring you back here in a second. Okay, welcome back. So first things first, we're going to store all that evidence we got from the multiple cases today, including a couple of bottles of morphine. So uh, there you go. Uh, we also have uh, our after-action report for the vehicle. Uh, actually, not much uh, wear at all. We're good, just dirty. We didn't have to ram into anybody. We almost did on that last vehicle. That was a hit and run, but ended up not needing to do so. So we're going to ha oh, hang over here by Franklin, and we'll uh, show him our court cases too. What's up, Frank? All right, let's go ahead and get that tablet out, and I will show you what we've got. I probably have to clear a couple out. Nope, we're good. I already did that. Smart me. Okay, cool. John Robertson, that was our very first individual. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, that was the speeding over 26, uh, the one in the Doom Buddy, so Doom Buggy. So he's going to get a $461 fine. He should also have a DUI, and he also had drug paraphernalia, fentanyl, heroin, and PCP. Man, yep, 15 years in prison. There you have it, and uh, over $18,604 in fines. So I had uh, just a guy that was speeding, having a little fun off-road. I figured I'd just tell him to slow it down, but then we got hits of narcotics, and uh, it led to that. Now, Mr. Hampus Farnstrom, we're going to go with that. Grand theft, possession of controlled substance, which was the morphine, and also paraphernalia. He's going to get eight years in prison and another $16,000 in fines. Miss Anna Sousa, she was the driver of that last, uh, in, excuse me, of that last wreck that was a hit and run. So we got her for driving while license suspended, because it was. She also got a DUI. She blew a .17. It was crazy. Evading arrest, leaving the scene of an accident, and reckless driving. She's going to end up with a total of 10 months in prison and, uh, you know, not too crazy in the fines there. I thought it may have been uh, quite a bit higher than that was, but that's okay. She's going to end up with uh, nearly $4,000 in fines. Miss Ava Myers. Uh, so we got her with uh, evading arrest, leaving the scene of an accident, as well as possession of fentanyl. Um, so, yeah, pretty much uh, similar charges as the other individual. She's going to end up with uh, no prison time, but 1400 bucks. Uh, the position in a uh, position, the possession of fentanyl was a not guilty. Okay, well, good for her. So, making sure I did get all of those right. Yeah, so they're about the same. She wasn't driving, so I didn't give her the reckless. But at any rate, so uh, that's going to be an episode. If you did enjoy it, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and notify. And also, if you do have any uh, police department requests that you want me to give a shot running certain cars, I will be happy to do so. Just leave it in the comments. And, okay, we might have uh, something on our hands here. <laughs> all right. I'll just let it go. We're off ship. Isn't it ship? Yeah, we're off ship, aren't we, Frank? All right. Have a good day, Frank. Y'all have a good one. Bye.